friends, today I'm going to be doing a series of first impressions using some new products. There were a couple products I'm not so sure about. Let's get started! This is the Cora Saffron Elixir. It's supposed to help boost anti-aging. You're supposed to put this on before other skincare products and it's supposed to help everything work better. And then the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. Cover Effects Custom Infusion Drops, the C Plus Lemongrass Radiance. Now I'm going to use my Caudalie Cream Sorbet. Okay, now I have this um, Kiehl's Micro Blur Skin Perfector. It's supposed to help the appearance of pores and improve the skin over time. I've used this a few times already and I love it. This will probably be part of my monthly favorites. I'm going to try this Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I'm going to use my e.l.f. blending brush to blend that into my skin. The shade I have, if you're wondering, is Euphoric RG20. RG is rose gold, so I don't know if that's really the shade I should have, but this is what was given to me. It's very natural, smooth, has really good coverage. Okay, the real test will be how it sits on top of that big mama over there. Oh wow, it has great coverage. Did you see that? I like how this foundation looks. It is giving me sort of like this healthy tanned glow, but I'm having trouble blending it in, like having it sink into my skin instead of just sit on top. I feel like I'm just chasing after brush strokes, which means it's not like sinking in and drying down. So I'll give it a minute and work on it a little bit, but this is a lot of work. A lot more work than other foundations. I'm like streaking everywhere. Maybe this is purely a beauty blender foundation. I'm using the Sephora Dry Sponge. I brought it down my neck because it was clearly a couple shades darker than my skin. So the sponge is definitely helping. But that's annoying that I can't really use a brush with this. Oh man, I forgot to use my new Hourglass Primer. That's a shame. I'll use it next time. Okay, so now for the most exciting first impression. This is the Pat McGrath Highlighting Trio in the shade Nude. It's the lighter shade. Um, she has one that's in golden as well. I'm going to start with the Balm. It's like a clear balm. I figured I'd just try it with my finger and just dab it on the tops of my cheekbones. Oh, that's pretty. But I could definitely just leave it at that if I was feeling it. But I've got to try them all. So I'm going to go in with the cream highlighter and see how those two look. And then I'll go in with the powder. I love how customizable this trio is. I'm going to go in with the cream. Ooh, that really did amp up the shine. Oh, by the way, I didn't have anything new to try for contour, brows, and concealer, so I just did those off camera. This is definitely unlike any highlighter I have in that it's like, looks like just my skin is glowing instead of like product on my skin. And you can't really see it, like it's almost like translucent, but with a shine. Super pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the powder highlight. This guy is 0.14 ounces of product. Hmm, I'm not liking how this is separating. 
I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like my foundation is separating a little or something. Don't like that. But the sheen, the sheen is gorgeous. I'm using the brush that the set came with. What do you guys think? I think it's very pretty. Yeah, not loving how once I start adding those products, my foundation started separating. Not loving that. Okay, I finished off the look with a wing, a simple winged eyeliner. Now I'm gonna use Max Soar. And then Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect. Okay, so I really loved some of these products. The highlighting trio was amazing, but it seemed to separate my foundation, which I think is my foundation's fault, but I'll keep trying it out. I can't even see where I put it on my neck. It's like settling into my fine lines. So I'm not sure I love this foundation. I'll keep trying these out and let you guys know what I think about each product. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and press that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye!